Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Now if you like really easy and straightforward Canva tutorials, then make sure to subscribe to stay updated from any new videos. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can easily make your own printable wall art by using Canva. So I'm going to create this one and I'm going to show you step by step how I have made it. Are you ready? Let's go! So first, I want to search for a cute font and some graphics to use in my design for my printable wall art. And I always look for that on creativefabrica.com. So this is a website where you can find so many uh, fonts, graphics and other things that you can use. So first I'm going to search for a font. You can see here uh, script fonts and all other fonts. So I'm going to search for a cute script font. Now here you can see all of the fonts and the prices. Now I already know which font I want to use. So I'm going to search it here. I really like this Brittany signature script font and I want to use this in my design. Now the beautiful thing on um, Creative Fabrica is that you can buy the uh, font and you also um, receive the lifetime license for personal and also for commercial use. So you can always use it um, on printable wall art if you want to sell it. Now you can add it to your cart or you can uh, activate a free trial where you can um, check out everything that Creative Fabrica um, gives. Now I will leave a link in the description box so you can try it and you can go and search for other things. So I'm going to um, select this one. I'm going to add it to my cart and then I'm going to search for graphics. Now I'm just going to go to the search bar. I want to search for a pink brush, maybe stroke on it. And then I'm going to see what comes up. Now, this is something that I really love, the pastel look. It's uh, really cool for the printable that I have in mind. You can also see examples here. You see this one is only $1, so I'm going to edit. And I also have the commercial use to, um, uh, the commercial license to use it. So I'm having the Brittany font, I'm having the brush strokes, and now I'm going to proceed to checkout. And then afterwards I can download um, the files to my computer. Okay, so now that we have our font and uh, some graphic things to put in our design, it's time to go and create a new design. You can do that by clicking here. And here you can search for a dimension you want, but for this, I'm going to use a custom size. So you can choose the pixels and you can use uh, the format. Now I'm going to go with inches today. I'm going 16 by 20 inches and create a new design. The design has opened and it's time to create our wall art. So now first I'm going to um, select the text box and add a heading. Now I am going to write my quote. So I'm just a. Now I'm going to use um, a regular font for this. I'm going to put it a little bit higher. And then I'm going to add another heading where I am going to highlight this in the font that we have just bought from Creative Fabrica. So I have already uploaded it. Now, if you want to know how to upload a font, I have another tutorial about that. But uh, I have already uploaded it, so I'm going to select it. And I can use this with the commercial license. So I'm going to put it like this. I'm going to copy and paste this one. And then I also want Empire in the same signature font. And then you can just drag it around. I'm going to put this a little bit closer. And then I think that I will make this 
a little bit bigger so that it stands out a little bit more. Now I'm going to select all and see if it stands in the middle of uh, our page. So I like this quote, I like the style of it. So this is ready and now we are going to add some graphics to it. Okay, so I want to use a paintbrush that I have just got from Creative Fabrica. So I'm going to upload and here you can upload the files that you want. So I have already uploaded the brushes that I have bought on Creative Fabrica, but you can do this by going to upload files, click on it and then upload them from the uh, place in your computer. So here are the brushes that I have bought. So I'm going to see uh, which one fits best. Maybe I'm going to try this one. So you can make it a little bit larger. You can just select it and see what comes up. So I like this one, but I want to see um, what, uh, what it looks like with another brush on it. So I'm going to click on duplicate page. And then here I'm going to click on the brush and I'm going to delete it just to put another brush on it. Maybe this one. This one is a little bit lighter. Let's see which one is the best. Now I like this one, but I think I will go into set the transparency a little bit lighter. So here you can see you can make it light or a little bit heavier. So maybe um, 85. And then I'm going to delete this page and I'm going to uh, leave it with this. So now my printable wall art is uh, ready and I'm just going to download it to sell on my Etsy store. You can do that by clicking on share, download, and then you can choose uh, the one that fits best. Now I'm going to select PDF print because I want to my customers to be able to uh, print it with high quality. So I click on this. And then here you can see that this one is uh, best for digital use, but this one is best for professional printing. So this one will give you the best quality, but this is a pro function uh, for Canva Pro users. Now, if you want to try it for a month, you will find a description um, link in the box below. So I'm going to choose this one and then I'm going to download it to um, put it on my Etsy store. Now I am also going to resize this uh, design into other dimensions because on Etsy, it's always better to offer your design in uh, different sizes so that the customer can uh, choose which size they want. So you can do that with just one click here on the resize button. You can choose your different sizes or you can do it uh, in the free version. Now, if you want to know how to do it, I have made another tutorial for this that I will link in the box below. And I'm going to add a little bonus into this tutorial. I'm going to show you how I um, am going to uh, make a beautiful mock-up for this product. So I'm first I'm going to share um, this design and download it as a PNG file. So I'm going to download it. And then next I'm going to upload it uh, into the mock-up section. To create a mock-up, you will go to the homepage of Canva and then on your left side, you can see smart mock-ups here. You can click on it and then here you can um, use any mock-up that you want. Now for the tutorial about the mock-ups, you can also find another video on my page. Uh, now I want to use a, a print version and then here the frames. And if you click on it, you can see all the mockups that Canva offers. Now I'm going for a portrait and then I'm going to search for it uh, for something that fits with my design. Now maybe this one. So just click on it. And then I always uh, look if there is a template um, available that fits a little bit more. So I'm just going to see. 
Now, I think that this one with the candle fits a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm going to use it. You can see it, um, that this is a free template that Canva uh, offers. So you don't need the pro version. So click on select. And then you can upload your design that you have just uh, made. So I'm going to select this one and then click here on select. And then Canva does its magic and puts the, your design into the mockup. Now you can always adjust your image to make it a little bit more fitting. I'm going to put it like this. Yes, I'm going to save it and see what comes up. So I really like this one. So I am just going to save my mockup so that I can use it on my Etsy listings. So click on save and then you can download the picture. So this is how you can easily make your own printable wall art in Canva. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you did so, then please give it a like, give a comment um, and make sure to follow my page to stay updated with any new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.